You know, one thing we personally love about the show, and we hope that you do too, is that it's really a two-way conversation. And this next story came about because someone texted us. So what was the big scoop? Well, the guy who did Meghan Markle's makeup is from Federal Way. That was the text. We took it from there and eventually connected with him. And turns out he has this interesting story. He spent his high school years in the Northwest and attended Federal Way's Decatur High School. So how in the world did he end up in London doing Meghan Markle's makeup? Hard work, of course, but also it was one bold decision after the next. No risk, no reward. Oh, because my inner God. <laughs> This is the man behind the pretty face. Lots of them. But he's more than that. Meghan Markle's wedding day look made her makeup artist, Danny Martin, an instant celebrity. Well, I pinch myself all the time. I mean, even coming to this hotel and them being so nice, you're like, oh my God, there's like, why are they being nice to me? or, you know, working with someone who's like, you know, I've always wanted to work with you. Yeah, like... You like me? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I still, to this day, I'm still very grateful for the journey I've had. But no success story comes without sacrifice. It started with leaving behind his friends and family here in the Northwest. I mean, definitely when I moved to New York, it was really hard. Like. I was freelance for the first six months of being there and like trying to figure out how you're going to pay rent. But I feel like New York throws you that bone to see if you can handle being there. What kept you going? Um, I think it was my grandmother. She was just like, you know, things take time and you have to pay your dues to do what you want to do. His big break was one he made for himself. And actually it was like 9-11 that really made me realize, okay, you need to, you didn't come here to work a corporate job. You came here to do makeup, so you don't know what the next day is gonna bring you, so like really try to figure it out. So what did you do differently? Um, I left Aveda, and then I started freelancing. So you had this comfortable, high-profile job that was good, but not what you ultimately wanted right. for yourself. Right and you walked away. Yeah. How, how hard was that? It was difficult because at that point, I was really at a great place at Estee Lauder with Aveda. And then, but my heart wasn't in it. That I had to make a decision. It's either let me try this out and be happy and if I can live comfortably, amazing. But if I'm not happy and knowing how hard it is to be here, why am I here? My first, like, celebrity client was Molly Ringwald, which was insane. After that opportunity with Molly, I was like, I think I could do this. After Molly came Megan. How did you and Megan first connect? Um, new shows get pitched for advertisers. We met when they got picked up for the season and we just totally hit it off. What do you think the connection comes from? She knew that I was there to take care of her. I wasn't trying to get something from her. <laughs> a few months after the wedding, Danny came home. His friends totally wanted the scoop on all the royal stuff, but they mainly wanted to celebrate him. I feel like Dan has been successful because people just enjoy being around him and that he's just so kind and warm and you know, I think, yes, he's talented, but at the end of the day, he's just a really neat person and, you know, somebody you want to be with. And nice enough not to hold grudges. Just, I wouldn't let him do my makeup. I just was like, no, you're not qualified. <laughs> I, I have my own look that I want to do. And, uh, yeah, so I've refused the man now who does celebrities. It's been said you can't create beauty without kindness. So Danny Martin being behind the pretty faces, well, it just makes sense. And at the end of the day, it's, it's not about me. <laughs> and in wow. that interview, he also talked about that big day, you know, yeah. her, her wedding yeah. day. And so if you'd like to hear that clip, you can just text the word makeup to 206-448-4545 and we'll send you um, you, well, send you to a place where you can get that information. What cool. an but opportunity. It is. And, you know, he also had a chance. He just did Elizabeth Moss's makeup for the Emmys, mm -hmm. and he's with uh, Jessica. I mean, he's, he does, he's amazing. Could you imagine that being on your resume? Like, what was your last job? Oh, you know, Meghan Markle's wedding. <laughs>
That was my last job. That was my last gig. Just did the Emmy.